Hey, this is Daniel Pinchbeck. Uh, this is for uh, New York uh, Native. I'm here at the Psychedelic Science Conference in Oakland uh, with Lex Pilger. And uh, I thought we'd walk around and talk about Lex's work for a little bit. I'm a drug writer out of Brooklyn, and I publish some articles for All Variety, and I'm working on a graphic novel about the story of cannabis. Tell me a little bit about how this is a golden age of uh, acquisitions for substances. With the work of Shulgin and the, and the chemists who followed him, there are more drugs than there have ever been before, and it's now easier to get them. With things like Silk Road and the Gray Market Research Chemical Site, it's just easier to acquire drugs than it has been ever in human history, and there's more out there to acquire, and with Earwit and sites like that, it's safer to do it than it ever has been. What are some of the areas of research that you focus on in your writing? Uh, I'm, I'm usually trying to look at the the historical and the sociological use in the field now. Uh, my background's in biochemistry, so I think my best article is probably about the synthetic cathinones that are referred to as bath salts, even though that's a bullshit term, but to combine how people are using it in the field right now and the biochemistry where it comes from. They're, they're fascinating little drugs. They don't deserve this shitty reputation. They're you know, mostly kind of lousier versions of the drugs you love, but some people prefer them. And tell me about the research you're doing with uh, cannabinoids and what you've been discovering. Uh, my main project is a graphic novel on cannabis, and in the course of it, I, did, I learned about the endocannabinoid system. The economist said it best, that if cannabis was discovered today, it would be hailed as a miracle drug of the century. Wow. It's similar to the opiate system. We, from uh, opium, we have morphine, and then we discovered the endorphin molecule in our body. From cannabis, we discovered the THC molecule in our endogenous cannabinoid system, and uh, it's going to be incredibly important for your immune system. And one thing that's important with morphine is we made all of these different types of morphine, from heroin down to the lighter painkillers um, that provide so much help for pain. With all of these synthetic cannabinoids that are being created, the JWH series, the HU series, it's going to be the same thing. There's going to be all kinds of applications for exactly the kind of use that you're looking for. And so how did you get to this conference, by the way, from Brooklyn? Uh, I took the, to get here, I took the, the Greyhound from Brooklyn to Oakland. How long did that take? Three days. What did you get out of that experience? What, who did you meet on the way? One of these guys who was at Berkeley in the 60s, on the front lines, meeting oh. Martin Luther King. Um, and so we ended up just sitting next to each other for 12 hours in the back of this bus and talking about philosophy and life. And he's reading Walt Whitman to me and starting to tear up. And it was just, it was the most magical experience in my years on uh, riding oh. the dog. And you said also that you have some experience that relate to your research in terms of drugs and substances on the, on the buses? The story I hear the most is, I'm leaving my town because I know where to get meth in that town. I'm going to go to this new town and see how long until I find out where the meth is. You hear lots of stories from guys struggling with substance abuse. Meth being the one you hear about the most because people in meth generally want to talk more. Yeah. The heroin people tend to keep more to themselves. Um, but it's a really, these are circles I usually run in, so it's a great spot for me to just open up the laptop and say, mind if I take your story. Nice. And what about uh, this conference? Like, what's the great value for you of being at this conference? What are you learning from here? Um, the things I like about MAPS conference specifically is, I always come here to volunteer and sell their books um, and help raise some money because they're the ones funding the what MDMA. Is, what, is, what is MAPS again? Uh, MAPS is the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. And so they're the guys who are giving funding research to give LSD to people who are dying of cancer, yeah. to, for death anxiety, MDMA for PTSD. They're trying to give cannabis to uh, vets with PTSD, but NIDA has been blocking the studies illegally for 20 years now, really egregiously, especially when you consider that the Department of Health actually has a patent on some of the health benefits from cannabis. Great, and where do you go from here? You said you're going to Portugal this summer? Yeah, I went, my next book I really want to focus on is, it's little known that, that Portugal decriminalized all yeah. drugs 13 years ago. Yeah. And it, it's been a wild success, going from this uh, penal model to a medical model. And so it's the kind of thing I explained to my mother. Put these addicts in hospitals, not prisons. And even my conservative mother can get behind that idea. And the Rand Corporation, who is you know, right-leaning, the, you know, these are guys who are doing bombing pattern studies in Cambodia. They're, not, they're certainly not long-haired hippies. They did a study, a uh, 10-year follow-up in Portugal, and every metric you care about went in the right direction. How do uh, your interest in drugs and uh, open sexuality relate? One thing, one thing I think is incredibly important about the various drugs and the huge uh, plethora now that we have to choose from is the various ways that you can use them. You have a whole pile to choose from. So for lovemaking and deepening relationships, there's all kinds of great drugs. I mean, of course, the psychedelics are aphrodisiacs, but as well, uh, the associatives, I mean, ketamine, 3 meo PCP, um, are really lovely substances to take with a loved one. And uh, you know, for a night of watching psychedelic animation uh, on your ceiling and making love and connecting. <laughs> Right on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Thank you very much. Um, do you want to just, uh, if people want to find your work, where can they go? What's the easiest way to find it? Uh, if you go to lexpelger.com, it collects, uh, has all, all my writing. Uh, L-E-X-P-E-L-G-E-R, uh, lexpelger.com. You can find my, my writings there. Great. Thanks very much. It's great to, great to, great to meet you. So this is Daniel uh, for Underground Thought uh, for New York Native, and uh, thanks for listening.